Welcome to Easy Cooking. This is our pilot episode and in our show we will be presenting you with easy recipes that you can make in your uh, daily busy life. Uh, most of you are probably uh, with kids and with full-time jobs and don't have much time to cook. Um, so I want to show you that it's not scary and it also doesn't take too much time and if you really want to make something delicious for dinner or for lunch for your uh, family and friends you can really impress them very easily without putting too much sweat into it. My name is Dayan. I was uh, born and raised in Bulgaria and I came to the US when I was uh, 18 years old after high school and I wanted to preserve my culture um, with uh, food and with um, a lot of other things. I'm part of the cultural center of course here in my hometown um, and I want to introduce everything that I know about my home style cooking that my mom taught me to my kids so that they can carry it to their kids and so forth. So today we can start with some very easy open face sandwiches with meat that are Bulgarian style. Um, in my uh, videos I will be going along with the recipe and I will put the full recipes in the descriptions of the video so that you can write them down and make them yourself. First we're going to start with the seasonings. Um, I am going to put one teaspoon of cumin We need one teaspoon of salt, however I will half that because I'm actually making half the recipe. We also need half a teaspoon of black pepper. The recipe calls for approximately a half a quarter cup of dried onion flakes. So we're gonna measure approximately half of a quarter cup since we don't really have anything to measure just half. We also need approximately half a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. So in a way we're kind of making a meatloaf recipe almost which is also a Bulgarian version of burgers that we'll be also making at some point of time. So I dropped my recipe here. We need a little bit of chubritsa, which is oregano. Um, actually oregano from the Balkans is a little different than oregano from the United States and I buy mine from the Bulgarian market but any oregano really works. Um, there's very little difference in the flavor. We need a little bit of beef or chicken stock or bouillon, depending on what part of the world you are. It doesn't matter if you do beef or chicken. The, the recipe is going to come just as good with either one of the two. We also need one egg. And of course, a one pound of beef. You can also use pork. However, I do not like pork too much for those sandwiches because it does tend to get greasy. And I don't like too much greasy food. As you're going to find out through our show, I don't like to fry food too much. So some of the recipes will actually uh, be made in our air fryer that does not really require any oil. And we are going to mix the meat very well. Make sure to use your hands and make sure to really mix it. If you can see what I'm doing here, I am trying to mix all the seasonings together so that it's evenly spread throughout the whole pound of the meat and we don't have chunks without seasonings and chunks with seasonings. Of course, make sure to wash your hands before you do that, if, especially if you're going to be feeding a crowd. And when you're all done, this is what you're going to get. 
Now I'm gonna wash I'm gonna wash my hands real quick from the meat and then we're gonna get our bread and we're gonna make some sandwiches. We're going to move some of these things out of our way so they're not taking space. Take the plate. Now when picking your bread, make sure to pick a nice bread that has kind of a crispy crust and it's not too soft because you want to make sure that you can spread the meat easily on it. Um, any pre-sliced bread that you can get from the store could be a little too soft and you could destroy the bread while uh, spreading the meat. So I, I like to get ones that have hard crust and are not too soft so that you can easily spread your meat. Without really squishing your bread. You don't have to make it too thick. But I do like to make sure that it reaches the crust because the last thing I want on my sandwich is really burnt crust. I don't like that. Therefore, I will make sure that I have it well spread. I will only make two slices today for the purposes of the video, uh, but you can make as many as you want to use up all of your meat at one sitting or the meat will really last two to three days raw in the fridge, especially if you use beef. It will last a few days so you can make sandwiches for two, three days and uh, enjoy them. Uh, we are going to put cheese at the end as well however i don't put the cheese right away because i want my meat to cook first through a little bit um, before the meat is all the way done i'll leave it maybe with a few minutes to finish cooking then i'll put the cheese and i'll let the cheese melt that way your meat cooks well and your cheese is not burnt so we are going to Finish this one. This is what it looks like before I throw it in the toaster oven. And now we're going to go and put it in here. We are going to go to put it on broil. Now I would say it cooks usually for about 10 minutes, but you can take a look at it every five minutes to make sure it's not burning. And when it looks just about done, make sure to get it out, put the cheese on it, and also let that cheese cook. So we're gonna stop now, we're gonna get back to it now. It's been about 10 minutes. We are going to get the sandwiches out to put the cheese. You can use any cheese that you like. Right now I'm just using whatever is in my fridge. It doesn't have to be specific, whatever you really like and enjoy. And I do like to make sure my cheese doesn't fall off the bread. So I kind of put different pieces together. Put them in the oven for a couple more minutes just to melt the cheese. Let the cheese melt for a few minutes and this is our finished product. You can really impress a crowd with those and I can also put a little bit of Bulgarian seasoning on it which is seasoned salt that can be purchased on any website that sells it. Um, and I can put some websites in description to where you can buy Bulgarian seasoned salt. It is a little different than the American one as it has more seasonings to it. 
And this is a Bulgarian open face sandwich. Thank you for watching. Please click to subscribe because we'll have a lot more fun and easy recipes to cook. And uh, we're hoping that you're going to enjoy them.